going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. I'm bringing you guys another episode of Pokemon Uranium Nuzlocke Let's Play. I hope you guys are excited for this episode. If you missed the last one, you can check out the description below for a link to that episode. I'd recommend go check it out, get caught up if you missed it. It was yesterday, but we're ready to rock and back for another awesome episode. I'm really excited, dude. Like, I'm like so jazzed up to do this playthrough, so it should be a lot of fun. And I don't know about you guys, but I was just thinking about it and I was kind of like, you know, looking at my couple three Pokemon here, and they're new, you know, obviously some new Pokemon in this region. There's something so special to me, and, and, and I'm going to talk a little, and I wasn't even planning on talking about this, but it's a little kind of anecdote or story from when I was little. Um, I, I always I always really value, I'm going to battle this trainer, I always really value the beginning of a Pokemon game when you just get started and you only have like two or three Pokemon or four or five Pokemon, they're all really low levels and whatever else. To me, like, that is one of the coolest parts of a Pokemon game, like just that fresh start to a new adventure. Um, I don't know if I'm kind of weird in this but I used to have this problem when I was little and I, I say little I mean like probably in maybe like from the age of like 10 to like 18 or something where I would legitimately pick up a Pokemon game and I would play it for I don't know maybe let's say let's say I don't know a couple hours into the game just to play that beginning part and then I would legitimately just like stop playing um I would just stop playing and I want to start over the game and I had this like restart issue I don't know if that makes sense, but I had this issue where I like always want to just restart my Pokemon games because I loved that beginning aspect of the game, like when you're just getting started out and you have all these new Pokemon and like they're all fresh and whatever else. Um, this is actually kind of scary because I, I ha this trainer is a little stronger than I would like. I'm gonna have to just heal up, I think. Okay, so it's level four. Um, I do have a potion, I believe, right? Let's see. Okay, I have two, so we're gonna have to use that. Because otherwise, I'm gonna get wrecked by this this Burby here. Um, I don't know anyone else feel that way too like where you just like the beginning of the game and kind of getting a new team I would have such a hard time getting through mid game of like a Pokemon game and um, I don't know it's it's so weird and I feel like as a let's player on YouTube I almost run into that a little bit too like I definitely appreciate the beginning of the game the most um, and I don't know it's just a weird vibe it's just a weird vibe but either way man I'm excited because this game is like even though I did play a little bit of it already it's a totally new adventure for me, so I'm pretty pumped about that. So we're gonna have some fun. Anyway, I got a cool question today. A lot of people brought this up, um, and I wanted to mention it myself. Uh, some people mentioned, hopefully I can heal in here. That would actually be really convenient. That would really help with the training process. I'm a fisherman. If you prove you're strong, you need to defeat Maria, the gym leader. Okay, Maria, I said her name wrong. Um, so shiny Pokemon in this game apparently appear at a more frequent rate, so I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that you can get Shinies at about a 1, one in 1,000 clip. So they're pretty common, apparently, in this game. So I'm kind of curious as to your thoughts. Should I Shiny Hunt for a Pokemon? And basically, what I would do is I would pick um, a Pokemon. I would probably want to pick a Bug type because it's my favorite type. And I would simply just hunt for that Pokemon in replacement of my normal encounter. Um, so I don't know. Oh, he's got a pickup. He picked something up already. So yeah, I don't know if you guys want me to do that. If you do, I can actually do it as soon as like maybe tomorrow or something like that on the stream. But I feel like we should really tie in our our um, our streams with this playthrough. It's a unique opportunity that we could potentially do some shiny hunting while we're playing through the game. I think it'd be a lot of fun, especially since um, these are new Pokemon and like there's opportunities to get some really sick shinies. So I don't know if you guys are interested in that. I can kind of do one hunt. I can do multiple hunts. I can really do whatever. So. Um, oh, I can always hit the uh, the running shoes. That's cool. Um, okay, so let's see here. I'm a little nervous because I don't really have a ton of potions and my team is like kind of weak. What do you have for me? Take a repel. Okay. Um, I feel like Zippo needs to be healed up before I like do anything. All right. Uh, I'm going to cut real quick and just go heal. All, right. All healed up. Let's see what's down here because I kind of just explored the other part of the route. Looks like this actually continues down. Is this just berries down here? Okay, so I see how that works. All right, so let's grab these berries because these Iran berries could actually be really useful. I should probably give them to every Pokemon on our team, except for Chian Monk because of Pickup. I think Pickup actually is going to be a really good ability. I want to try to take advantage of that as best as I can um, and try to check it frequently. So let's use some berries here. Um, we're definitely like really low levels, so we got to be super cautious about that. But let's give him a berry and let's give Zippo a berry. And I don't know if I can plant more, but we should definitely keep an eye out on these berries throughout this uh, playthrough here. You're a new trainer. I just started too. Okay, well, hopefully you're not as strong as that last trainer who had like a level five and whatever. And out 10. Okay, so I actually remember having one of these dudes on my team and it was absolutely beast mode. Um, so I don't have it now, but it, I remember it being really cool. So 
I think it had like Serene Grace or something. That's like one of the few things I remember. I remember this little dude. I remember the little bomb dude as well. But a lot of those Pokemon, unfortunately, like didn't make it very far on the playthrough. So, okay, that's actually really strong. Um, let's go for Ember. It's going to peck. It's doing 10 damage. Okay. And this should do half, hopefully. Yeah. And my berry is going to activate. So that's kind of weird that the berry activates after. Um, and I'm actually faster. So I don't know how. Maybe it was a speed tie. But I'll take that battle. Raptorch looks so sick, dude. All right. And we actually gain a level on our little dude. Which is very nice. Pretty pumped about that. So yeah, I know there's a little bug type. Uh, there's a little bug Pokemon that you can get in this game. I'm not exactly sure what its name is or anything. But I know it like comes up. I don't know if it's in this forest or the next forest or whatever happens. But I would really like to go for a shiny bug Pokemon because it looks really cool. This little moth dude. Okay, so this river is populated by Fortog. They're poisonous Pokemon. I'd carry antidotes if I were you. So we can probably get a Fortog later. Well, I guess if I had the fishing rod, which I don't. So, um, all right. This guy's probably going to have that bug Pokemon. So we'll check it out here in a second. There's a Chine Monk. We can just... Actually, this will be good for Aurorak here. Because we can battle this potential bug trainer and uh, just beat him with, with Gust. Let me see. Do I have... Okay, Chip did pick up an item. Potion. Nice job, Chip. And let me um, let me give a berry to Rop Torch or Zippo just to be safe. All right, let's see here, bug catcher. All right. Hey, you. Yeah, you over there. We're going to battle now, okay? Let's do it, man. Let's do it up. I'm ready. So he's got uh, bug catcher flood. He's got a cup Q bug. This is the little dude. Yeah. So I want to get a shiny Cubug. I don't know if I find it on this route or what, but I really want to find it. And, like, we'll have to... I don't want to, like, bend the Nuzlocke rules too much, but if it's in this forest, I can just replace my next encounter with one or whatever. You guys let me know what you want me to do. I don't know exactly where it's found, if it's this forest or elsewhere, but I really think it would be super cool to get this little dude as a shiny if we can. Of course, I'll probably get a different Pokemon as a shiny, but if I can get this little guy, that'd be super cool. So... Let's do it. I really want that. I think it would be so sick to have this little guy. He's so cute. Look at him. He's a little, little guy. I think he's cute. All right. Hit him with the gust here. I'm running out of berries. I need more Oran berries, but hopefully we get a level from that maybe. 53. All right, good. We're up to level four. Learn growl. Not going to be too good. And he's going to send out another Cubug. I'm going to just... I should go in a chip. I should try to train everyone. I should try to train everyone. I have a good matchup against these bug types, so we'll go in a little chip here. I think Chip could be could be legit. All right, that's level five. What does Chip have? Chip has Growl. So Chip ain't going to do nothing here. I should switch out. Uh, I'm going to go to Zippo just to be safe because I don't know what this thing's got at level five. He might have uh, Mega Horn or something. He probably doesn't have Mega Horn. <laughs> He's going to tackle. That's fine. Ooh, Flame Body. Yo, I don't honestly, I think I forgot that I had Flame Body as an ability. That's actually phenomenal. That's a really good ability, dude. I wonder if it always gets Flame Body or if it can have multiple abilities. That's a really good ability, though. All right, see you later, guy. That's a good ability. We'll take that. And Chip grew to level three. The higher Chip's level, the better the pickups it's going to get. So kind of got to keep that in mind. He got another pickup. A potion. Dude, this is going to be so good to have this little guy. I believe. All right. I wish Pokemon followed you in this game. I feel like that could have been something they added. That, that's, I think, one little thing this game's missing. I know they would have had to add running sprites for everything. Oh, there's the Fortog. There it is, a poison Fortog right there. Okay, is that thing water type, though? This could be really scary, actually. I'm gonna go... What do I want to do? I'm gonna go for Flash. Let's go for Poison Sting. I think he might be pure... Did Flash not do anything? I actually don't know. I'm gonna go for Growl. I just don't want him to have a water move, dude. He's going to go for Pound. It's a good thing I went for Growl. Okay, I'm going to switch out. I'm going to trust that he doesn't have a water move. This is where things get sketchy, because if he has a water move, it's going to, like... I think Zippo just dies, dude. Like, He went for a Poison move, he went for Pound. There's Poison Sting again. We're going to burn him. Don't poison me, please. Okay. All right. I feel like he could have Dry Skin. I don't know. I'm just going to go for Ember. We'll find out if he's Water Type right now. I think he's Pure Poison. Oh, he's water type. Please don't use a water move. I got a burn. Poison sting. Okay, so maybe at this level he doesn't have a water move. Oof. Okay, well, he's burned. So, like, I should be able to beat him with anything now. This is so risky, dude. If he has a water move, I get wrecked. I don't want to go chip. All right, I'm just going to go for the scratch, dude. 
I don't think he has a water move. I feel like he would have used it. That does nothing. This thing is so bulky. Please don't poison me. Okay. This burn is really clutch, actually. So he's water and poison. It's kind of like Quillfish. Dude, we're so weak. Okay, he's not doing anything to us, but this thing is scary, dude. We have nothing for this. I have to make sure I train up some Pokemon because we have nothing for this little guy. All right. And we're back up to five, which is good. That's really needed. And we beat this guy. So that was his only Pokemon. All right. Yeah, I'll trade Pokepod numbers with you, buddy. Rematches are nice. Okay, there's an Anadil, which is like really conveniently placed. Is this the exit of the forest? Because I kind of want to heal before I explore. Yeah, so Kevlar Town. Okay, cool. So let's find a Pokemon Center really quickly. Um, assuming there is one here. A lot of houses. I do want to explore the houses. I feel like I should be going to all the houses and seeing what's going on. There's a Pokemon Center. All right, let's take a look here. There's a little cave as well. Let's heal up. And uh, I do want to explore, but I kind of want to go back into the forest really quickly. And then we'll explore the town and see what's going on. Dude, there's something so cool about playing a Pokemon game for the first time. Well, I say first time. We're just going to pretend this is my first time because, like I said, it's been so long. But it's so nice. Like, fan-made Pokemon games are amazing. It's really sad. Like, I understand why, but it is sad that they, like, shut down so many of the Pokemon games lately. Yo, Chip, holding it down, dude. Yo, make sure you guys, every time Chip picks up a potion, make sure you hit that like button for him. Okay, so I need Rock Smash to keep going, it looks like. So I can't continue. But we can go, we'll just go up. Yeah, every time Chip picks up a potion, make sure you hit that like button. Seriously, he, he really appreciates it. Okay. Um, let's see here. If you talk to people multiple times, sometimes they say different things. Are you one of those guys? Just like that. Good work. Oh, okay. So we got to keep that in mind. Okay, nothing in this house. What about over here? I do want to explore here. We just moved to this town. It's small, but it's a good place to raise a family one day. She's talking about some kids. Why can't we just raid Pokemon? As someone who just had a daughter, Pokemon would be pretty sick. So Maria is the gym leader here. I want to get a bike, but the... Shaw doesn't have any. What about you, sir? You walked in here, that means you need a bike repaired? You don't have one? Well, it figures. Haven't gotten many customers as of late. I've sold everyone in Kevlar Town a bike. If you bring me a bike wheel, I can fix an old bicycle and give it to you. Okay, so we gotta find a bike wheel. So that's how we get our bike, is from that dude. So pretty straightforward there. That Mori, he's always crying to people and get them to do something for him. He doesn't why he do doesn't want to hear a good joke? Sure. How do you get 50 Pikachu on a bus? You poke him on. Oh, man. That's that's an old one. Leave me alone. Oh, I should talk to them again, actually. We'll do that in a second. Let's uh, buy some stuff here. Uh, I'm going to snag a couple Pokeballs just to have them. I feel like that's a good idea. And uh, we've gotten some potions here. I'm going to grab some more just to be safe. And I'm going to snag an antidote just to have an extra one. But uh, luckily, our little, our little uh, chip is doing a great job of uh, picking up potions and stuff for us. Now, let's talk to you again. Leave me alone. Okay, well, that's fine. I was just trying to be a nice Samaritan, you know, trying to see what's going on with you, give you some some advice. Okay. All right, so I don't have strength, so I can't go into that cave yet. Let's talk to you. Is this your first time seeing a Pokemon Center? I'll show you around. I really didn't need the tour. I really didn't. I didn't need a tour. All right, here's the hospital for Pokemon. My sister's going to restore your Pokemon to full health. There's the Pokemon Center, the Pokemon PC. Kind of cool that in uh, Let's Go Pikachu Navy the PC is just in your bag. I think that's kind of neat, actually. All right. And this is the trading area, which is kind of cool that you can actually do that in the first place. The Tandor Network, you can collect with traders all over the world. And that's the tour. And I got some berries. All right, it was worth it. It was worth the tour. I'll take it. Thank you for the berries. Like, I actually appreciate those. Because those are going to be clutch. I'm using them, dude. Like, we're using those berries, man. All right, let's talk to these guys. If you're planning to go to Now Talk, it'd be a good idea to buy some potions. So I think we have to go to the next town. I think this is like a... Oh, no. I, I meant to click the wrong... The other type. I picked Raptorch. Um, okay, so he's telling me I gotta watch out for those water types. We really gotta get a Pokemon that can handle water types. I'm raising my special Chine Monk. Wanna fight? Okay, I'll battle you. Let's do it. I wasn't expecting a battle here in the Pokemon Center, but he's got a level 4 Chine Monk here, which is good for my Aurorak. Let's do it. We're level 5, so I think we're doing okay. We can just hit him with a Gust. Let's see what this little guy's going to do. 
I might switch into my own Shine Monk if we get some damage off on him. Maybe try to try to get some experience across the board here. A nice little Gust. It's going to bring him pretty low. I mean, I could switch. I don't know if it's worth it. Ooh, a crit. Uh, my berry's going to activate. I think I just got to go for the knockout here. Because, I mean, I could switch, but we're level 3, so I feel like we're kind of weak. I'd rather just get to level 6 with Aurora. I'd rather do that. Okay. That should knock it out. Do you have another one, though? Or do you just have one little guy? All right. Aurora is getting close. Okay, so here's another one. I'm actually going to switch this time to my little chip. So that way I can get some experience. Try to get him to level 4 or something like that. He's close. All right. He said he had, like, special moves or something. I'm not sure if I should be concerned. Let's go for the growl. Tackle? I should live this, right? Ooh. I will hit him with a growl and then I'll swap out. All right, let's go into, let's go to Zippo. I'm trying to train everyone, man. I think at this point in the game, like it's gonna be really important for me to have everyone about, you know, good levels. Cause I don't want to be caught off guard with a tough trainer. We're gonna need every, every member of the team to be solid. All right, let's go for Ember. That's the thing about Nuzlocks, man. You, you need your entire team to like be able to hold it down, so. And one thing, if you if this is one of your first Let's Plays you watched of mine, you'll actually see that I use all the moves, man. I use I use Flash, I use Growl, I use all those moves in a Nuzlocke. Because they actually can be really useful. So, let's get another one. Yeah, I guess. I guess I'll switch again. Switch training for the win, dude. Alright, Chip. Alright, and there's another one level 4. They keep being level 4, so... I'll switch into my Zippo again, though. Should be all right. All right, Zippo, you got this, I believe. He's got Tackle. Yeah, that's all this thing's doing. Does a lot, but we have the Ramberries, which are so clutch, dude. Like, I can't express how good they are. Because they save you that turn. You don't have to, you don't have to use potions for a turn. He's going to burn himself and knock himself out here. No? I tried. All right, well, this guy's a uh, Chine Monk army here. They're not doing it. They're not going to make it. You gonna give me anything good now? Now they're fighting fit. All right, well, he's gonna go heal himself. I'm gonna heal myself real quick, because we got a little knocked up there. A little beat up there. All right, we restored your Pokemon to full health. We built the second floor, but we don't know what to put here. Tandor Network's up there. Yes, sir. Oh, I guess I could just keep battling this dude if I wanted to. Huh, it's interesting. Okay, well, I think we can keep moving. Ooh, more berries. And what is that? Petcha berries. Nice. Oh, it's at a berry shop, too. We could actually plant some Moran berries here if I wanted to. Which might not be a terrible option. Early game just to get a lot. But I, I mean, I have a good amount now, so I'm not, like, super stressed about it. And I have potions, too. Let's go check it out, though. Let's see what they got. My girlfriend is mad at me, so I'm buying her flowers. Welcome to the Kevlar Berry Shop. Take a free sample. A Baku berry. That's a new berry. The Guara Berry, that's also new. And the Kupu Berry. These are not berries I've ever heard of. The Acai Berry. Which is always a funny word. People don't know how to pronounce, but I believe you do pronounce it Acai. Alright, so Paralysis, Sleep, Burn, and Defrost. Okay. And we got plenty of Aran Berries. Which I'll give to Zippo. And Aurorak. Let's do that. And that. And let me just check what Chip picked up. Because Chip is... Put in the work, man. An antidote. Thanks, buddy. You don't give me anything to like. Oh, Baykal Forest. Okay. So I'll have to keep an eye out for Baykal Forest. I'm not sure if that's what's up next or what, but. Uh, route 2. So we got a new route, actually. And a new trainer. So let's get an encounter and see what we're going to find. There's another Chine Monk. So obviously no duplicates. I'm not going to catch a second one. So we'll go for the next thing we find. I can't escape. It's gonna go for Growl. Thank you for that. I greatly appreciate your generosity there. There we go. Right, let's battle this guy and then I'll catch something. I heard Outen nest in this area. I'm trying to catch one. Ooh, that would be a cool Pokemon to add to the team. It's another flying type, but uh, I think it'd be kind of cool. There's a Burby. So we got a Burby battle going down. Mine's a higher level though, so I like my chances here. And this will actually get us to seven if I knock him out, so I think. Let's go for Gust. Are we faster? Yeah. Burby's kind of weak, though. If you can tell, it doesn't really do a ton of damage. So we're going to need to uh, 
Get a little stronger here. Another gust. But yeah, I kind of like that Outen, dude. Alright, a couple gusts firing off here. I'm going to activate my berry here in one more hit, so that's nice. Big gust. Crit. No. Alright, well, this will pop my berry at least. Okay. And I'll get some berry love back, and I'll hit the gust here. And that's going to knock out Burby. Not too shabby. Okay. And we're up to level 7. Alright. And I'm actually going to cut real quick. I just saw the garage open. So I'm going to go help my wife with groceries. I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. So let's see here. I think they said they were sending out uh, Chine Monk. So I'll send out my own to train a little bit. And we'll see how that goes. Yeah, my wife was just out shopping with Dallas. Which is kind of sick, actually. I feel like... Took her to the grocery store, you know. Got some stuff like some diapers. Gotta get them diapers. Alright. We should be able to knock this thing out with like two embers, maybe? Flame body baby! Dude, I love that. I love, love, love that. We just gotta like really watch out for water moves. I feel like tech fire moves are much less likely than tech water moves. Well, he gets charged. Is he an electric type when he evolves? That's actually kind of hype. Like, I don't see why he would learn charge if he didn't turn into an electric type. That's actually really cool. I would be hyped if he turned into an electric type. All right, so Chimon gets to 30 or to five. What's your secret to Pokemon training? I try not to lose. What do you got for me, Chip? A potion, nice. Good job, buddy. All right, let's give you a berry. And we do get a new encounter. I do want to grab that Pokemon, but let's look up here. Okay, so there's this little guy up here. Old entrance to no talk. That guy's going to be tough. I feel like I should get my encounter first on Route 2. Let's see if we can find something here. Another Chine Monk. All right. I should be able to run, though. Okay. Let's see what else is here. Apparently, Outen is here, so... Oh, a Cubug. Okay, so this is, I guess, the question. So, like, obviously, I'm going to catch this thing. But I will um, I will replace it with a shiny one if you guys want me to shiny hunt here. What do you think? Maybe I'll upload this episode early today. So that way I can shiny hunt during the stream today. I like that idea. I'll upload this as soon as I can so you guys can watch it on the early part of the day. And we'll shiny hunt for Cubug. Okay? I'll catch this one anyway. So maybe we can, like, have it. But, um... You know, I'll try to find a shiny one. And if I can't find a shiny one, whatever. We'll just, like, continue with our journey. But uh, assuming this thing has a decent encounter right here, I think it'd be kind of fun to shiny hunt it. So that's cool with me, man. I I'll take this little guy. It's got charm and string shot. That's kind of cool. Dude, I'm excited. I really want to get this thing as a shiny. So, yeah. Let me know in the comments, like, what you guys ultimately want. I'm pretty open-minded. So let's catch him. Let's catch him. One. Two. Three. Okay, cool. Uh, what should I name the little guy? Hmm. It shares characteristics with bug and mammals Pokemon. Being in the presence has a calming effect. It's the love bug. Aw. I like that. <laughs> but I like to give a nickname to Cubug. What should I name it? Um. Let's name it. Hmm. Let's name it. Oof. This is a tough one. What should I name him? What should I name him? Hmm. I like the name Teddy. Because <laughs> he's like a little teddy bear. But he's like a bug. We'll go with Teddy. Alright, let's see Teddy. What do you got for me? Like I said, I'm probably going to... I want a shiny hunt one. Alright, it's pure bug, lonely nature, swarm, charm, tackle, string shot. So that's cool. Alrighty then. So, let's, um, I guess I can go up here and see what this guy's all about. Like, I don't, I'm, like, nervous to battle this dude. Because if he has something good, like, I feel like I'm going to get wrecked, but. I don't know if I even battle. Okay, so I am battling him. Are you tough enough to make it through this cave? I don't know if I am, dude. I don't know. He's got a manky. Okay, actually, that's fine. I was expecting something else. So, that's actually not too shabby. We can work with a manky. I'll hit him with a gust. We should be faster. No, he's gonna focus. I hate focus energy so much, dude, because crits are like 
They're the worst. It's a really good move though. Big damage there. Right, I should be able to live with Scratch. Even if it crits. Okay. I just was waiting to see that HP bar plummet, dude. All right, we got rid of the Mankey. We get rid of the Focus Energy, which is nice. What else you got? Level eight. Wants to learn Quick Attack. Nice. And here comes a Barrel. So this is the, this is the scary dude right here. Um, it's a Rock type, or maybe it's a Ground type. I'm gonna stay in against it, and I'm gonna go for Flash, or Growl actually. Growl's good. Let's lower his attack and see what he does. He might be ground type, but I think he's rock type. Harden. Okay. I don't really care if he goes for Harden, because I can Ember him. I think I should growl again, or I'm gonna flash, actually. All right, let's lower his uh, accuracy as well. He may have Mud Slap. I feel like I recall him having Mud Slap, as opposed to um, something else. But I'm not positive, this could be a long battle. <laughs> I think Gust is special in this game. That does nothing. Tackle, he misses. Okay, he may not actually have anything aside from like tackle. So he's definitely rock type because we're hitting not very effective here. He's gonna tackle again. But I did lower his attack. It's gonna activate my berry. So I can definitely beat him with just this dude. I think I'm safe to switch into Zippo here. And we can definitely knock this thing out with embers and stuff. I have no doubts about that. Tackle, he misses. This is where Flash is really good. Against like tough enemies, it can prove to be really good. All right, I'm gonna Ember, because it hits on the special side. He went for Harden a few times, so this should still do a good, yeah. Wait, maybe he's not Rock. Is he Rock and Steel, maybe? Maybe he's Rock Steel. Yeah, he's gotta be Rock and Steel type. Okay, good to know. We're up to level eight, and we beat Hiker Larry. Let's do it. You're pretty good. Trade Pokepot numbers with me, and I'll call you whenever I find a rare Pokemon. Nice. Thanks, man. All right, so looks like there's a cave down there, and then, okay, and then you can go through the other cave, which I can't go through. So you have to, and I have to go through this cave. That's the secret, is you gotta go through the cave. Okay, so I think um, I think we can, we can stop here, and uh, we could potentially go for some shinies in this patch of grass, like that would be really sick. But let me know what you guys want ultimately. You know, we have, we have our newest member, which is Teddy. I think Teddy's pretty cool. Chip holding it down, full heal. Thanks, buddy. And uh, I think this is a good spot for us to wrap up. And like I said, I'll upload this as soon as I can, right before the stream if I can. And hopefully uh, you guys can give me your feedback and maybe I'll uh, shiny hunt today on this stream. So that's that, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on this episode of Pokemon Uranium. Show some love, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. My name is Dan. I also go by A Drive, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Thanks so much for checking out my last video. If you like that one, you'll definitely like this one. And be sure to subscribe for more as I post Pokemon videos every single day.